I want to show that if the limit of a sequence exists and equals x, then the limit of the um, average of the first n terms also converges to x. So what I'll do here is take the difference between x and this expression here, and that's equal to the absolute value of the expression minus 1 over n times the sum from k equal 1 to n of x, because if you add x to itself n times and then divide by n, you're just going to get x. So I didn't really change anything in going from here to here. Now what I'm going to do is split this, these sums up into uh, a sum from k equal 1 up to m and a sum from k equal m up to n. Now notice how I use the uh, triangle inequality in getting this one. I add absolute value of this and I just brought the absolute value on the inside of the sum. Okay, now we can uh, say a few other things about this expression. So what I'll do now is take the absolute values on the inside of this one and so I have this expression here is dominated by something of this form here. Now what I'm going to do is I'm going to pick an m. I'm going to pick m to be sufficiently large. How large? Well, I will pick m to be so large that if k is bigger than m, then absolute value of x sub k minus x is less than epsilon. So that'll be the condition I'm going to use. Now, um, I'm going to let m be large, like I just said, so that if k is bigger than or equal to m, then this difference in, is smaller than epsilon. And then I will always let n be bigger than this given m. So from now on, you see m is just going to be fixed. So for such m and n, the 0 less than or equal to this, and that's less than or equal to this sum here. Now, uh, this here is... Um, smaller than or equal to this sum plus epsilon times n minus m over n. That's smaller than epsilon. And now you look at what you have here. Remember m is just fixed. So if you take the sum from k equal 1 up to m of this, it's just some number. And you're dividing it by n, and n is getting larger and larger. Therefore, this expression can be made as small as you desire. And so eventually, this difference here in absolute value is smaller than 2 epsilon. And epsilon was arbitrary. So that uh, shows that this limit is equal to x, because it shows that if you make n sufficiently large, the difference between this one and this one can be made as small as desired.